Leachman tankless water heaters provide the comfort and convenience of having a continuous supply of hot water. Mounting the water heater. Select a suitable location to mount the tankless water heater. The unit should be securely mounted onto a stud in the wall or external framing system such as Unistrut. Using the easy hang slot on the bracket already mounted to the water heater, mark the center line of the water heater and install one screw for the top hanging bracket. Lift the water heater up and align the easy hang slot with the screw and lower into place. Level water heater and secure with additional fasteners, two at the top and two at the bottom. Installing vent pipe. The vent system for this water heater is designed for use with concentric stainless steel venting only. Start the venting at the water heater and work your way to the termination. Ensure all pieces fit tightly together. Secure each joint with the screws provided. When completed, double check the venting and verify all the connections are secure. Install vent termination. From the outside, locate and mark a center line for the exhaust vent location. At the center mark, cut a five and a half inch hole through the wall. Seal around the vent pipe at the wall with caulking. Flashing may be used as needed. Install water lines. Ream recommends the use of service valves as these provide an easy means to service the water heater in the future. Seal the threads of a three quarter inch NPT copper threaded coupling using Teflon tape and attached to service valves. A pressure only relief valve rated at 150 PSI is required. Pipe the relief valve to a location per local code requirements. Install gas line. A properly sized and installed gas supply line is critical to the proper operation of this water heater. The gas supply connection is 3 quarters inch NPT. The minimum pipe size must be a half inch or larger. Install the included gas shutoff valve directly to the gas fitting located on the bottom of the water heater. Connect the gas piping to the valve. All Richmond tankless water heaters can be installed using a half-inch gas line, making the replacement of a tank-type water heater easier and more cost-effective. As always, it is required that installers consult the Use and Care Manual, the National Fuel Gas Code, and any other local gas codes when installing a Richmond tankless water heater. Install Condensate Drain The condensate drain tap must be installed to the drain located at the top of the water heater at the base of the venting. The connection is one half inch in diameter and requires high temperature silicone tubing. The tubing must be routed to a suitable drain, looped to form a trap, and initially filled with a cup of water. Mount the remote control. Select an easily accessible location for the remote control, which has a 10 foot cord. Secure the remote wall plate using the screws provided. Then connect the remote control wire provided to the two screw terminals on the back of the remote. Secure the remote to the mounting plate using the small screw located at the bottom. Connect the remote control. To attach the remote control to the tankless water heater, the connection point is located at the bottom of the unit. Remove the screw that secures the connection point cover. Slide the cover back and pull down, and then insert the wire through the rubber grommet on the bottom of the cover. Route and connect the wire leads to the screw terminals. Slide the cover up to the bottom of the water heater and reinstall the screw. Connect electrical. The tankless water heater plugs into a standard 120 volt AC three pronged outlet. Plug in unit. Turn on and test. With no fixtures running, turn on the water supply and the gas. Wait 90 seconds to allow the water heater to complete system checks. Press the power button on the remote control. The remote will beep and a green light will appear. The remote will display 100 degrees the first time you turn it on. Press the up arrow button to adjust to desired temperature. Then go to a nearby faucet and turn on the hot water only. The water heater will initiate firing sequence. You will hear the fan come on, then the igniter will spark, and the unit will fire up. Once the unit is in operation, check the water temperature after about 30 seconds. The water should be within a couple of degrees of displayed temperature. To learn more, visit ream.com slash tankless.